actually going to do some of that resiliency planning and actually going to be looking at um, you know, areas that are going to be that are going to be vulnerable in the city and, and what the city might want to be doing about that. So you're just in the very beginning stages of that grant to be able to start looking at that. We wanted to do this for quite a few years until this recent grant is finally bringing it to That's why you're here. You're sharing with us numbers, important numbers, like 3,000 jobs related to 
fishing, for instance. Now, as an economist, I assume you, you, you recognize the Department of Commerce. A lot of numbers, a lot of economics. When those folks declare an economic disaster for the commercial fishing industry, particularly here, amongst other things, and I see you mentioning uh, test kitchens, unmanned underwater vehicles, all sorts of interesting sort of small spec of relevance, and none of your economic proposals have anything to do actually with a fishing fleet and this fundamental core economic challenge of being essentially 30 and 40 years old, thoroughly high carbon, and not being able to respond, despite our best efforts on a thoroughly pro bono basis, against regional and federal regulati regulati regulatory dictates. We're not really in a position to innovate the way any other industry has been able to innovate. So I'm astonished to not find any reference to that in the plan. So if you don't want to deal with a fishing industry per such, uh, if you want to go scientific, which seems to be the fundamental idea of it, let's, let's go high-end, white lab codes and pretty, pretty laboratories, then I would suggest, let's go back to the slide that you have, how big the approximate, estimate of budget of the Office of Naval Research is. It's one of the largest marine, industrial marine, scientific, marine technological budgets in the world. Whether you want to sign up and reform it or not, doesn't matter. So if you want to excite those folks, then it depends very much on what your previous track record has been. So when folks like us, based on our 62 years worth of work, bring the Navy to town, and they get such a cold reception as they receive here. We are in front of it because that work gets around. And this is just small steps. As the mayor said years ago, when we start the project, that's the baby steps. And I think it matters if you want to excite other federal agencies uh, to come in here beyond Noah's already here, so that doesn't fly. If you want to redirect other institutions of higher learning, research, anybody, to redirect some of the funding going to come to Gloucester in fiscally constricting times, which is not going to happen. The question is, what are you going to do? So, I think that the public track record is a poor one in recent memory. I had the Navy in my office and on the project four different times, and who, who was not present from the city? The city was never represented by Ms. Garcia. No, 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 come on, it don't come monkey like this. Let's not school mom of grown adults, for heaven's sake. It matters what we do, it matters what we don't do. It matters how we respect local initiatives and it matters how we blow by the worst calamity in Gloucester history. And for the city to not address the fishing industry in any way, shape or form, for you folks to just roll over, it's a bit much. But then why don't I see it? I don't see it on the screen. on the city website so we can read it again. Um, the, these presentations are on the website, all the ones up till now you'll notice when Ted gave his background information about the number of jobs in the community and the opportunities, they were kind of abbreviated. The yeah. full presentations when they were given in full at the previous meetings are on the website. Um, and the full, the full harbor plan, um, they're not on the website. I have gone to several different links on the website. There was no way for the public to know that there was a meeting tonight. That's why the room is so There's empty. Nothing. The only reason extra people have showed up is because <laughs> I told them. Um, That's what I have to say that I sent out a newsflash to the whole uh, city of Gloucester. Uh, Where? We have had Where? many, um, this and, one and, and if you want the presentations, and I won't, I won't be bad, I'm sorry, I feel bad when people yell at me. Pardon Listen, me. But, uh, wait, 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 I'm not yelling. I just have a statement. I'm really tired of being the only person on a local level 
that connects with the public. That is why I am videotaping. There is not one person taking notes up there. I don't know how you're going to go back and see what these meetings were all about without my film, because there's nothing being recorded tonight. Where are the minutes? There are no minutes on the, online. Nobody can get them. There's been nothing about climate change either in the public, on the Gloucester Times, or all these meetings that you say you've been having. There's been no public information available, and I'm not here to badger you. No, I'm, I'm not just either. Saying, this is, a, this is a, a matter of informing the citizenry, and Schmoopy does it best, believe it or not. You guys, I don't know what, land, uh, what world you're living in. I'll tell you why, because there's no information out there about meeting times, places, and what the subject of the meetings. I'm serious. There's more on Plum Island, houses falling down in Plum Island, than there is about Wise Place flooding off Bass Avenue. I'm serious. And with that, 